Hey, what's up? My name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to use Notion Forms on your Super website. So this is the website I'm going to be working with today and what I would like to do is add a contact form to my currently empty contact page. So to get started, let's open up our website in Notion. The most important thing we need to consider when we're creating a Notion form on our Super website is whether or not we would like the form submissions to be public or private. If you'd like other users to be able to view and access your form submissions, you can simply create the form anywhere inside your main Notion page. We recommend creating a dedicated page for your website forms and then creating the form typing forward slash form in Notion. If you're choosing the public method, it's worth noting that users will likely be able to see your form responses. If you want to keep your submissions private, you can simply create the form outside of your main Notion page. And because in this example, I'm going to be creating a contact form, I want my submissions to remain entirely private. So I'm simply going to move the page itself outside of my main Notion page. Now we can get to work in building out our contact form. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Notion form builder to add relevant fields. And that's going to include an email address as well as a message field. Once you're happy with the form, the final thing we have to do is change the form settings so that anybody can submit it by changing this option, who can fill out the form to be public. Finally, let's copy the form URL and we head back into our main website page, into the contact page and hit paste. Then choose embed and we can see the form appearing on our page. Then if we head into super, hit refresh on our page, we can see the form appearing here as well. If we go to the live version of the site, we can do a quick test submission to check that everything's working correctly. So if we hit submit there, we can see the form has been submitted. And so if we go back into Notion, we can go into our website forms page and into the responses tab. And you can see the response has been filled out in the database here. So that's it. You can now start effortlessly collecting data from your website users using Notion forms. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay super.